give you some of the code. Select. Okay, the reason I say I give you some of the code is because I didn't take into account the discount. So you guys had to figure that out. And then the discount. So you just multiply the total times one minus the discount to get the real total. We're supposed to add that into the middle? You're supposed to add that into your query. So do you, do you put it in brackets? Uh, so what I do is I just say uh, maybe another set of parentheses. I actually never finished it. I'd say multiply times one minus the discount. Is it, is it called discount? I'm not sure what it's called. Do you it's not called. want to group by ordering either? It is called discount. Uh, group by ordering would be a good idea. Do that? Did it work? Well, no, we actually you have something else on with it. Oh, here. Well, let me see what. Oh, wait. Mine's still in. Let's see what my results show me right now. Order ID in total. You need to group them at least. Right. So this is just for each line item. So you need to, uh, you can't just group by that. That's not going to sum everything up to you. You just sum it, and then group by it. Yeah, right? it's just exactly the total amount. You select from, and then group by. So if you're saying if I do group by, this will sum by itself up to 1505? No. That's what I thought. No, you'd have to, you'd have to sum the total. So if you did uh, sum. Oh, yeah, sum. We have sum. Okay, yeah, sum, sum right here. Yeah. And then you also want to select the order ID. Oh, we sum the order ID. Okay. Uh, let's see. So select order ID and then sum and then from order ID. And then, yeah, yeah like group that. by. And then you do group by yeah. order ID. Yeah. Well, wasn't it right when you had it? It wasn't okay. because. It's only summing each line item for each order. So it's. But isn't that the total for the order ID? For each order ID? Um, so order ID 30 has two products. Oh, and the total okay. of the two is four, uh, 1505. Oh, no, yeah, I'll show it. Let me get it working. Okay. See, now I have. One order ID and a total. So I'll show you the code here. So you guys can do this. I'm going to separate it into two lines here. Okay. So select the order ID and the sum of unit price times quantity times one minus the discount. And the reason I can select order ID as well is because I'm actually using it in the group by function afterwards. Yeah. Um, I think so. Well, I don't know. I was making sure order of operations were correctly done as well. Oh, you're saying this should be in its own parentheses right here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, you know, <clears throat> see if that changes the results. Let me look at my own results and see if it changes. You have to find one that had a discount. And I think you might be right. Let's look at line 22 when we run it. Well, what order is that? 51? Guys, one, one, has a, this one has a 
Second pair of eyes on me. And I put the parentheses in. Like you said, that's why on my GMAT, my mask score wasn't really high. Mm -hmm. So that's number three, so I'll uh, post these solutions online, but I want to talk about two things. I want to talk about the homework assignment and the group assignment. The homework assignment has to do with this. Uh, so you can have up to three people in the group, okay, to get this done. Get with someone who has uh, a version of this work. And uh, the key is it's all fair game for testing. So all three of you should understand what we're doing. Okay? Okay. Now, okay, homework three. Create a button on sheet one that when pushed makes an input box appear. So that's the first requirement. So how uh, how do I do that? I simply go to sheet one and I go to the developer tab and insert a button. Okay. So there's my button. Nothing happens. I think you could turn any shape into a button. Put a picture of my dog. I don't have a dog, but I have a cat. <laughs> so I can insert a picture <laughs> of uh, my. Okay, I'll use this one. This is his Luke Perry look. You guys remember Luke Perry? Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm going to turn this into a button, and because it's more entertaining for me to look at as the grader, I will probably give you a higher. Okay, well, it's small enough to be a button. He's cute as a button. Look at that. Like, what am I doing over here? Okay, so if I right click on the picture, I can assign a macro. Picture one dot click. And now, if I click on the picture, it'll run the macro. So, you don't have to use a button, you can use anything for a button. You can put a frame around it. Oh, now how do I just select the picture? Right click. There we go. Format picture. You know, so it looks like a button. Okay. Now it looks like a button. Anyway. So that's the first requirement, is to make a button. What else? Okay. When I push the button, an input box has to appear. Okay, you guys can figure that out. When you push the button, something in the code behind the button makes an input box. The input box allows you to type text. So, in this box, you can write a sequence statement. And 
then, depending on the name of the text box within the input box, or I guess it'd be the name of the input box, you could set something, you could set uh, your SQL code that you have now equal to the value of that input box. And that'll put the text there for you. Okay? So the input box gives you text. So say you push OK on your input box, something should happen where the text is updated in the code to whatever was inside that input box. Yes. Set your SQL to whatever you wrote in the input box. Well, let's say you had a... What, oh, you, might want, saying, what you might want to do is create a variable here called SQL <laughs> query. If you set it equal to whatever's in the input box, for example. This is just pseudocode, it's not real code. And then in your SQL query, in your get record set, you would just do SQL query like this instead of uh, the actual text right there. So that's pseudo code. It's not going to work. But that's probably a good idea. It's not working as I wrote it. Because I had one. Okay. It's just pseudo code is like fake code. This is kind of how you would do it. You have to change the SQL query line? I'm saying you can create a variable that stores the input box text and use that variable as your query in your and then set RS statement, right? Okay. Try it. We'll make it over there? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Google, how does, how to, how does, you know, how to save the text from an input box into a variable? Google's not helping. Pretty good. Uh, Excited, DJ, just read all about input boxes. You'll figure it out. Please. Okay, so the last, is there any other requirement? When the statement is submitted, the results will populate a sheet one, just like they do now. So the hints write a new macro for the button. That's just saying there has to be a macro behind the button. Modify the macro that we've been using so that the SQL command is equal to whatever is in the input box. Use Google to figure out how to do this. You may work with three people in a group. Yeah. I think the key is to read about input box. Can I just ask you what, is the input box a box that pops up inside the VME editor, or are you saying input box oh, is something on up. the Excel spreadsheet? It that pops you up in, yeah, it so pops up type, in the Excel spreadsheet. I have a working worksheet, I can type a command into it, and that instructs a macro to yeah, run that's the idea. right from the worksheet instead of going into the editor. Is that right? Right, you, you change the SQL in the input box instead of having to keep changing it inside of the... So it's one command from inside the so create a I'm inside the input box. Macro. It pops up. Right. You don't care what the macro does. What the macro? The but macro. The code? There's a macro behind every button. That's all. Yeah, but you don't care what the code is. You don't care what it does. Well, like draw when you press the button, button, what's going to happen? It's going to take the text out of the input box and do something. But the something doesn't matter. Yeah, but you don't care what we do. Like, I don't know. You don't care what we put in the input box. So whatever we put in there, as long as it does what we're saying, we want to Like draw a smiley face. Yeah, just read about it. Come on. This homework doesn't even start till Wednesday. Okay. I think you're going to learn more about it on Wednesday. Like, would it be smarter to wait? Okay. Smarter to wait? Yeah. The smart thing to do now is just be read about info boxes. I'm 100% sure that's going to solve the problem. Okay. I am. 